Welcome to Vision of China. Several weeks ago, U.S. tax stocks took a significant hit, signaling the start of what now appears to be a deepening economic crisis. The initial trillion-dollar wipeout has since tripled, wiping out over $3 trillion in market value, with volatility reaching unprecedented levels. This sell-off seems far from over. Historical trends suggest we could be on the verge of a repeat of the third quarter of 2022 when the S&P 500 plunged from 4,300 to 3,600 over several weeks of relentless sell-offs. The combination of fear and momentum is particularly perilous, driving panic across the markets. In such an environment, extreme caution is warranted. While the overarching trend points to higher asset prices in our inflation-driven economy, the situation can quickly shift to a deflationary spiral for risk assets, particularly when interest rates remain elevated for an extended period. This is precisely what we are witnessing now, and the recent dismal jobs report may well be the trigger for a slow-motion economic collapse. The U.S. economy is now facing severe challenges, with the latest payroll report painting a bleak picture. In July, only 14,000 jobs were created an already disappointing figure that is likely to be revised downward. The trend in job creation is clearly declining. Compounding this, the unemployment rate jumped to 4.3% in July, returning to levels last seen in October 2021. Additionally, hourly earnings increased by a meager 0.2%, signaling stagnation in wage growth. This trifecta, fewer jobs, higher unemployment, and stagnant wages, paints a worrying picture of an economy under strain. Inflation, while still a concern, is no longer the only problem. The broader economy is beginning to buckle under the pressure. Despite these alarming signs, officials like Janet Yellen remain optimistic, dismissing concerns of a potential collapse in economic growth. The narrative from economic officials, which emphasizes a strong recovery and low unemployment, increasingly seems out of touch with the reality many Americans are experiencing. The disconnect is becoming more apparent, even on Wall Street, where there is a growing recognition of the economic challenges ahead. The rhetoric from the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury is starting to be seen as mere professional jargon, masking the true state of the economy. There is mounting concern that the Fed's focus on inflation may be coming at the expense of addressing the broader economic slowdown that is now unfolding. Multiple factors contribute to the current economic uncertainty, including political drama in Washington, escalating geopolitical tensions, and now, a slowing domestic economy. For over a year, bad economic news paradoxically drove stock market gains, as it signaled potential interest rate cuts from the Fed. However, this dynamic is beginning to shift. Higher unemployment now signals a looming spending crisis, which is clearly detrimental to the economy. As this reality sets in, stock markets are beginning to reflect the underlying economic weaknesses. Digging deeper into the numbers reveals a troubling rise in jobless claims, which have surged to a 32-month high, indicating that more Americans are losing their jobs and filing for unemployment benefits. This trend is a clear sign of a weakening economy, one that is increasingly diverging from the performance of the stock market. Another ominous sign is the steep decline in the Institute for Supply Management numbers, which indicate a contraction in the manufacturing sector, a key early indicator of recession. Despite ongoing trade tensions with China and efforts to decouple supply chains, the U.S. is not seeing the expected boost in domestic production. The August numbers have fallen further below the critical 50-point mark, signaling contraction and strongly pointing toward a recession. These are leading indicators suggesting that both local and foreign demand for U.S. goods is weakening, largely because consumers simply do not have the financial capacity to sustain previous levels of spending. The longer these indicators remain in contraction territory, the greater the likelihood of a recession becoming a reality. Stock prices, ultimately, are driven by corporate earnings, which are inextricably linked to the real economy. As unemployment rises, consumer spending naturally declines, leading to lower corporate earnings and, consequently, a weaker stock market. A particularly reliable recessionary indicator, known as the SUM rule, has now been triggered. This rule, which has accurately predicted every U.S. recession since the 1970s, states that when the three-month average unemployment rate rises by 0.5% or 
or more compared to the previous 12 months, a recession is imminent. The latest data shows that this threshold has been crossed, indicating that a recession is on the horizon. The implications are global. If the U.S. economy contracts, the ripple effects will be felt worldwide, contributing to the ongoing global stock market sell-off. There is widespread expectation that the Federal Reserve will intervene to stave off further economic decline. Jerome Powell has already hinted that rate cuts are likely, possibly as soon as the next Federal Open Market Committee meeting in September. While rate cuts are often seen as a positive development, there is growing concern about the reasons behind them. If the Fed is cutting rates not because inflation is under control, but because the economy is teetering on the brink of collapse, it signals deeper, more systemic problems. The market now anticipates a more aggressive double rate cut in September, rather than the previously expected 25 basis point reduction. This shift in sentiment reflects a deepening fear that the economy is in serious trouble and that the Fed may need to take drastic action to prevent a full-blown crisis. The wave of layoffs across various industries underscores the challenges facing the economy. For example, Intel's recent announcement that it will cut 15,000 jobs is indicative of the broader struggles facing many companies. Despite receiving government grants, Intel, like many other corporations, is finding it increasingly difficult to maintain profitability, leading to significant job cuts and shrinking earnings. Even with record levels of national debt and deficit spending, the economy is not responding as policymakers had hoped. The U.S. deficit has now reached 6.6% of GDP, while economic growth remains sluggish at best, hovering around 2%. This growing gap between deficit spending and economic growth raises serious concerns about the sustainability of current fiscal policies. If the deficit is this severe without a recession, the situation could become dire if GDP turns negative. Despite the concerning data, officials like Janet Yellen continue to project confidence in the economy's resilience. However, the data suggests a much bleaker reality. The global economy which has remained resilient in part due to the strength of the U.S. economy, is now facing increased risk. Recent GDP growth figures, while seemingly positive, may not fully reflect the underlying economic vulnerabilities. As the stock market continues to react to these developments, attention turns to the potential impact of the Federal Reserve's expected rate cuts. When the Fed cuts interest rates, the immediate assumption might be that the stock market will rally. Lower borrowing costs typically stimulate economic activity by allowing companies to expand and consumers to borrow and spend more. However, the current situation is different. The market is already weak, and the damage has already been done. The U.S. Treasury's 10-year yield has dropped significantly, reflecting a flight to safety as investors prepare for a potential recession. This drop in yield, despite the ongoing inflation crisis and Yellen's efforts to sell more bonds, indicates that investors are seeking safe havens, locking in longer-term bonds at lower yields as a precaution against future economic turmoil. The Fed's anticipated rate cuts may not be enough to reverse this trend, and there is a risk that a weakening U.S. dollar could exacerbate global economic instability. Overall, the global economic outlook remains highly uncertain. Markets are volatile, and the underlying economic issues suggest that we are entering a period of significant challenge. While the Federal Reserve's actions may provide some temporary relief, the broader economic indicators point to continued uncertainty and the potential for further decline. As the U.S. economy struggles, the implications will be felt worldwide, marking the beginning of what could be a prolonged and difficult economic period.